Round one is done. Time for the bye weeks to start coming out of the woodwork. And who gets to play who? Well, let's just take a look. But first, the Pickums. Two weeks left in the Pickums. Teenage Mutant Ninja Bortles is on top now with a one-point lead. Bad Influence is tied with with Drew winning should be a breeze at 62. Then Dak to the Future is at 59, and then the rest are pretty much done for. Two weeks left. Mark, can you at least win that? Because, well, I beat you. I'm not thinking I'm going to go much further, so it doesn't really matter, but I beat you. And I was actually shocked because, I mean, I put up, what, 133, got a goose egg from my defense, got six for Michael Crabtree, so I thought for sure I was done after Crabtree. And then you had Matt Forte. I mean, that's probably why. No, I think I still would have won with, with uh, Forte. If, he got, if Forte didn't get hurt, I think I still would have beat you. Thanks to Eli Manning having a game. But your defense also got a goose egg. Your tight end got one and a half. And my Terrell Pryor, he didn't. I, I, he got 1.3, and I don't even know if he got that catch until like a couple minutes left in the game. So thanks, Mark, but I beat you. Whew. Devils, couldn't you have won something for me? If Dez would have had a normal game, now you still would have lost. I need you to win because I got to play Craig now. Fester, you're lucky you won. You got nine, not even 10 points from Ben Roethlisberger. Not even 10 points from your running back. Not even 10 points from Stefan Diggs. And you still won. Unreal. That is crazy. So, Fester, you are going to go on to play Banana Hot C. Is that what his team name is? Yeah, it's Banana Hot Seat. And I gotta go play the Pro Bowlers, which, yeah, not looking forward to that action. I mean, I personally don't think I like playing Travis either. His team's pretty, pretty tough as well. So, here I go, Craig. I am gonna bend over and ready for that big paddle beating I'm gonna get. Thanks uh, very much, but at least I gotta go to the third place game and play Fester again. But. Fester is due to beat me. No, actually, he beat me by one point, so I'm due to beat him, right? I hope. So, Fester, I mean, not that I'm saying you're going to lose too, Fester. I'm just I'm just saying you're probably going to lose too. Just not saying you're going to lose, just saying you're probably going to lose. Just like me. I'm, I'm guaranteeing I lose. <laughs> I mean, come on. Craig's been averaging 160-plus points a game for the last probably six weeks, something like that. Ever since Le'Veon Bell came back. How about that? Um, King of the Mountain is still Craig at... Is it, isn't it Craig? It, it is Craig, isn't it? I think it's Craig with 200 and something. Yeah, it's Craig. I think Craig's been the King of the Mountain since November 15th. Was that the first week? He had 211 points. Yeah. Pretty sure he's going to win. Um, I don't know. There's not much else to talk about except the Chiefs. I cannot believe they won that game because they shouldn't have won that game. If you look at the game, the Raiders won the whole running game. They won special teams and definitely defense. What did the... Well, I guess they didn't win special teams because Tyreek Hill got that special teams touchdown. Did we win passing that game? That's just weird if we did. But it just seemed like the Raiders dominated that game. And we still came out with a win. Just like the Falcons. How did we beat the Falcons? Just like the Panthers. What? We beat the Panthers? Just like the Broncos. We really beat the Broncos like that? I don't think we won that game still. I think we lost. The Chargers won that game at home? That is five, one, two, three, four, five games. I don't get how we won those games. But we did. So something the Chiefs are doing is how making them win. Because I don't know what it is, but it, they are. They got Tennessee in literally frigid temperatures this week. Oh, my gosh. 
I mean, I say it every week, we need this win. But when you're a winning team fighting for the number one seed or two seed, I'll take. But number one is what we fight for for the playoffs. Every game counts, and we need every game. So this is a big game. I still have my Bronco Chiefs tickets for sale, just to let you know. Anyone's interested, it's uh, 1050 for parking pass and three front row seats, just to let you know. Just throwing it out there if you're interested. Three front row seats in the end zone. They're awesome seats. Fun to watch. 1050 will get you those tickets and the parking pass if you're interested. Um, that's it. I, I, I hope the Chiefs win. This is last year. I thought was kind of exciting. I just thought we went what the Chiefs went like ten and one last year, ten and zero. Then they go like ten and zero or eleven and zero at the end of the year, and I was like, they're gonna lose. They can't go this long without losing. And this is kind of kind of getting there, but I would love for a trip to the Super Bowl. <laughs> I mean, so would they. Obviously, they get paid more for it. That'd be so awesome. All right, that's enough of me. Have a good week, fellas. Bad luck to whoever's playing, except for me. Bye.